Have you ever wondered how many productions make such amazing artworks? I am Photoshop artist and in this video I will show you 4 Photoshop tricks I learned from Benny. Let's get started. First one are smooth highlights. If Benny excels in something, it definitely are highlights. You probably know how Benny creates his highlights, but there are perhaps few major details which you have missed. Let's take a look from the beginning. So most often Benny uses hue and saturation adjustment layer. You click colorize, match color with light and adjust saturation and lightness. Then depending on your artwork, blend if can be really useful. You don't want to make shadows lighter while painting highlights. And with blend if you can easily prevent that. You have to open blending options and then move slider named underlying layer while holding alt key. You may have known all this. But here is one more key thing that Benny sometimes uses to make highlights really pop. When your artwork is finished after camera raw filter and all that, Benny copies layer with whole artwork, goes to filter gallery and applies glowing edges filter under stylize folder. Then he changes blend mode to screen, inverts mask and paints everywhere where he wants to make highlights more expressive. Second trick is custom warp. This is something what I use almost every time in my own artworks and I discovered that by watching Benny use this technique. Custom warp is a powerful tool which allows you to change shape or perspective of an image pretty quickly and it's not complicated at all, as it is seems in the beginning. You enable custom warp in Photoshop by pressing Command plus T and then left click and warp. Most common use is probably while working with textures to make them look 3D. You can see this in Benny's Realistified series really often. Another example could be my own artwork of an iron golem, where I made wall golem just by warping single texture. Third trick is epic glow. We all can agree that Benny is master of glows. And they just look always cool and magical. Benny uses, as you may know, solid color with linear dodge add blending mode. And then just paints with large soft brush. It is simple as that. And since I learned this technique from Benny, I use it every time when I need to make something glow. Last one is depth of field or blur gallery. When you want to create a depth effect in your art, the most common way is to add blur to background and foreground. A lot of people automatically use Gaussian Blur, which can be in some cases fine, but in other cases it ruins the lights in image. A much better option is Blur Gallery. There is for example a Bokeh option, which simulates view that you see in real life when something is out of focus. Benny made dedicated video on this, so check that out. So these were my top 4 tricks which I learned from Benny Productions. If you want to support me, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Let me know in the comments below which one is your favorite or what have you learned from other creators. Thanks for watching.